Hello and welcome to the families of instruments in the orchestra. There are four of them and instruments have similar characteristics that make them part of the same family just like people. For instance, this is my sister, this is me, your music teacher. When you look at the two of us side by side you can tell that we're part of the same family. We both have brown hair, we both have brown eyes, our voices are similar now, granted you can't tell that right now because shes it's just me and not her. And we have similar noses. It's called the Suhei nose. That's my maiden name, Suhei. However, when uh, there are also things that make us different, so you know we're not the same exact person. My sister's not musical. She's kind of musical, but not like me. I'm not artistic. I'm kind of artistic but not like my sister. I'm artistic in different ways. My sister is nicer, but I'm funnier. You'll just have to take my word for it. <laughs> so, let's talk, start talking about some of the families of instruments. As I mentioned before, there are four of them. One of them happens to be woodwinds. Woodwind instruments have lots of keys. They use a reed or just blowing into air across like a mouthpiece and that is what vibrates and that's what causes the sound. You will be playing one hopefully next year when um, all of this is over hopefully. Um, you will be playing a recorder when you are in fourth grade. That is a woodwind instrument. There is a reed inside the mouthpiece that vibrates, and it has lots of keys. Brass instruments use valves instead of keys, and you buzz your lips into the mouthpiece, and that's what makes it the vibration. So, like your, you, when I say buzz, it's kind of like the raspberries, but not quite as juicy. So if you make your lips really tight and blow through them, you're going to make that buzzing sound. Now, there are certain, yeah, certain um, mouthpieces, certain instruments, you have to either make your lips tighter or looser, and that's also what creates a different pitch in the instrument. The faster the vibration, the higher the pitch, the slower the vibration, the lower the pitch, the lower the note. So go ahead and try buzzing your lips. And you can see that I was making different notes. <sighs> Stringed instruments, another family. Stringed instruments, you guessed it, they have strings. And those strings must be strummed, plucked, or bowed. So strumming like a guitar, plucking like a harp, bling, 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 or bowing, that's like a violin. A bow is a long stick that on either end has a bajillion horse hairs. And you take some uh, rosin, which is like a wax, and slide it across the bajillion strings to make them real um, tight, or not tight, but like a sheet. And then what will happen is you'll pull the bow across the, the the bow, the horse hairs across the strings of your violin, and the rosin will help the strings catch and let go and vibrate. Percussion instruments. Now percussion instruments are kind of interesting because percussion instruments can be pitched or non-pitched. In other words, they can play a melody or they can just make a sound. For instance, this is an instrument from our that is the metallophone and you will notice that a pitch can play a melody Another classroom instrument, the hand drum, 
when you just hit it, it's just making a sound and you could play a rhythm, but you couldn't play it as a different melody because you can't make um, higher notes or lower notes. Now, we just talked about pitched or non-pitched. Percussion instruments also must be struck, shaken, or scraped to produce a sound. For instance, this is the inside of my piano. You would notice the mallets inside hitting the strings from, they're like li little hammers, hitting the strings and um, because the mallets are hitting the strings, that's what makes the piano a percussion instrument. Some people also consider it to be a stringed instrument because, yeah, there are strings inside. However, the majority of musicians consider it to be a percussion instrument because those strings are being struck. Another classroom instrument, those are our maracas. And there are little beads inside, and when they are shaken, they produce a very pleasant sound. Again, those in that the maraca cannot is non-pitched. It doesn't. It cannot play a melody, unlike the piano before it, whereas it played. It could play a melody. It could play a song. Last but not least, another classroom instrument. This is our wiro, and you would notice the stick that I scraped against it. Again, non-pitched, not really a melody that you could play, but you could play a rhythm. Okay, now that we've talked about the instrument families, I want you to try and fill out the worksheet and see if you can tell what family those instruments would belong to.